One of the great things about using ACT is its ability to manage your contacts and track all of your interactions with them. We often see that over the course of years in business, your contacts can be spread around in various spreadsheets or even in other CRM applications that you no longer use. Well, now it's time to import all of those contacts into ACT. In this video, I want to walk you through the basics of the ACT migration wizard, which allows you to migrate your data into ACT from another CRM solution or even a spreadsheet file. Your data can be migrated from either the Windows client of ACT or the online web application. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate the migration tool from the online perspective. One way to access the migration wizard is to go to the welcome screen and then look for this button that says import and click it. This is going to open the migration wizard in a new browser tab and it should log you in to the system. So for step number two, in the select your source step, you need to determine the source of your data. Are you migrating from a CSV file or are you migrating from a different CRM application? Choose the source from this dropdown. Once the mapping details are loaded, click the next button. Step number three is the source connection step, and here you'll need to provide information which will give ACT access to the data from the source you chose. This may include things like username, password, URL, API token, and more. It really depends on the source that you chose, so you'll have to know how to get those items before you can complete this data migration. And once you've finished that, click the test connection button. Now in step number four, enter your ACT connection, the fields will probably be pre-filled out for you. So you won't have to provide any information here. Just click the Continue button to go to Step 5. Now in Step 5, Review the Mapping. This lets you review how the source fields will be mapped to the fields that already exist in ACT. You can also map to any custom fields that you've already created in ACT by clicking the Custom Field Mappings link. Once you've done that, click the Import Test Data button. And now in this step, Perform Demo Data Load we're going to migrate the first 10 records from the source to ACT just as a test. So let's click the Begin Test Data Load button to import those records. This is going to allow you to take a look at the data in ACT just to make sure everything has migrated and mapped correctly. So before continuing on, go to ACT and view those 10 records just to make sure everything looks right. Then once you're finished, come back here and click the Next button. This is going to delete those 10 demo test records so that you won't be migrating duplicate data in the next steps. And now in step 7, review record counts. This gives you a preview of all the data that you've scheduled to migrate. In this step, you can check or uncheck any of the tables to determine exactly which data tables will be migrated. Once you've finished making those selections, click the Continue button. And now we're on the final step called Perform Full Data Import. Depending on the size of your source data and the speed of your connection and hardware, this could take a long time to complete, but you will be able to track its progress as it works. You can also leave this screen and the migration will continue to run behind the scenes. So let's click Begin Full Data Import to start this process. And once it's finished, the button at the top will say Undo Entire Load. So at this step you'll be able to review the results of the migration in the Full Data Import log. This includes details for any errors that may have occurred along the way, and if you found that you've made a mistake and you really need to undo this entire migration, that's what the Undo Entire Load button at the top is for. This will remove all of the records that you've just migrated. And that's all there is to it. To see these new records in ACT, we recommend closing ACT and logging back into it once again. <laughs>